everybody! Today, we are going to learn how to make Korean traditional pig strudel dish. It's called jokbal. We are going to braise. So braise pig strudel. I know there are many, many people all around the world. You guys have some recipes for pig strudel. But today, you are going to learn Korean style, our traditional way. Actually, to tell the truth, it's one of my challenge recipes. Long time, over years and years, many people have requested this recipe. But I had never made this in Korea. I didn't have to. I just go to Korean restaurant and then buy or Korean marketplace. Just buy easily and then use to eat. You guys are so interested in making this mangchi. Please, jokbal, please, jokbal. How do you know this name of the dish? <laughs> anyway, a few years ago when I went to Korea, I really, really want to learn, you know, about jokbal. This time I went to the market, Namdemu market. I kept my eyes on fire to look how they cut and how they, you know, handle this. And then after that, for a few years, I tried to make this recipe, but like uh, most of the times I just failed because after making some kind of weird smell, you know, and also sometimes I add some more ingredients, more than enough. Now I'm so very happy because now is I'm ready to share my recipe. You guys are vegetarian, you might be disappointed, but please understand me because I have so many readers, viewers from all around the world and some people are just halal in you know, food, some people are from you know, Buddhism, some people are vegetarian, vegan, and some people are just eating all, <laughs> eating all, just like me. I'm sure that you guys, all of you guys might be interested in what is it about this dish. You can compare this with your cultural cuisine and let me know how is the difference. I'm living in New York City and not easy for me to find pig strudel, but only one place. Where is it? Chinatown. You can get anything, any food in Chinatown. That's my favorite place in all around the world. Strangely enough, I go to Chinatown, I feel like I'm a Chinese and also I'm so happy. <laughs> I got really nice, good looking and big trotter yesterday and I got this too. But today I'm going to cook only one. I'm going to cook this one, this large, bigger one. I did many, many experiments to do this by adding or sometimes reducing, you know. You can follow this recipe really closely, then you will make nice, nice one. Actually, it, the taste ended up being better taste than any Korean uh, market. Can you believe that? I soaked this, this is cold water, overnight. 8 to 12 hours to soak in cold water. I change the water maybe a couple of times and then because to remove all blood. If you skip this process, no matter how many all kinds of ingredients you use, you will feel gamey smell. So soaking in cold water is very, very important. This is around 3 pounds, 13 ounce. Even though I soak this in the water, I will wash this nicely. And then see, blood coming out. Massage around here. I soak this in cold water many times. You see blood. We have to all be removed. Very clean now. And then now just I'm boiling water. Let's reheat my water, really lots of water in a big pot. I will just braise it in this pot. I need to investigate, is there any hair left over? Massage around here, you can feel some kind of a rough area, that's kind of a hair. I will use this shaver. Ginger around one tablespoon, slice, and together. I will cover like half, just in case boiling over. So I will just boil 20 minutes. 
you can see the fat is floating here. I'm going to wash this really nicely. So use the brush. I will use this part. Now I'm going to boil this in all these seasonings. And this is a special sack. <laughs> it's a hemp sack. I got this from Korean market. You will find this in kitchenware section. If you can't find, you can use just a cheesecloth, large cheesecloth. You can just, uh, whatever method you use, tie it up very you know, tightly and boil this. Because uh, I use just uh, all these ingredients together you know, in the water. Later, I'll take it out, kind of, I need to, you know, it's kind of not nice, not clean. So this is method is really, really good. I'll put this, all these ingredients inside. One apple. I washed this nicely. And just make it chunks. And this jujubes. You remember jujubes? I don't have to take out the seeds. Eight large jujubes. Eight cloves, large garlic. So let's just cut it also. Half. Eight cloves, large garlic, and ginger. Ginger slice thin. An onion, six ounce, medium size, one onion, I will add. And next, this is a, a Korean red chili pepper. Actually, I bought this at home dried. I dried this on the windowsill, probably you saw in my previous video. I'm using just two large dried chili pepper. You can use like a small size, maybe several, seven to eight, use this. And green onions, large green onions. Cut around two inch, four or five green onions. This is a Santa Claus bag, <laughs> but we still need something like a kind of a herby smell. The star anise. Just one. And cinnamon stick, one. One cinnamon stick. This black pepper. It's a whole black pepper, around one teaspoon. And coffee. This is ground black coffee. One tablespoon. So now, these guys are all ready. And I just uh, tie up really tightly. I will add here. This is 10 cups of water. I may have to add more, but let's start with 10 cups of water. And then this is Korean doenjang, fermented bean paste. This is a kind of big difference. If you add this, kind of really like uh, some earthy smell. So you have to add this one. Around two tablespoons fermented bean paste, doenjang, Korean doenjang. This is Korean cooking wine. It's called, it says uh, mihang, but sometimes mirin or mirim. So cooking wine. Quarter cup. This is soy sauce. Of course, we gotta add soy sauce color, like a brown color and soy sauce flavor. One third cup soy sauce. And sugar. The sugar, you can use white or brown or any kind of sugar. I will use organic dark brown sugar because I like to make it a little darker. Quarter cup. One tablespoon salt. What else? One thing is missing. Yes, this is a syrup, rice syrup. I will use rice syrup, half a cup. Rice syrup make this shiny, shiny and little sticky and give also a little bit sweetness. Okay, and cover this. 
I will cook for one hour over medium high heat. And then later, I will turn down the heat and then medium, and then I have to cook again. So because it has to really slowly, slowly cook, pig strudel will absorb all the seasoning, and then by time goes by, and it should get shiny and then tender. Smell. This smells full of this aroma in my house. I use the star anise, you know, the cinnamon, garlic, ginger, all this smell is a kind of a unique smell. This is like chokbal smell. Chokbal smell is, my house is full of this smell. Okay, so let's see. Wow, look at this. This sack is submerged and looks smaller than before. All this delicious stuff is infused to the liquid. Look. And close. Turn down the heat, medium. I will cook this another hour. And then I'm going to check to see if this is really tender enough. If it's not tender enough, I have to cook longer. Another hour. See, meanwhile, I like to make some sauce. We always serve with shrimp sauce, shrimp, fermented salty shrimp sauce. This is shrimp. When I make kimchi, I always use some. One tablespoon, just squeeze out the salty brine. And then I like to mince this. Add this to the bowl. Because this is salty, I will add two tablespoons water. And one garlic. Half a teaspoon sugar. Korean hot pepper flakes, gochugaru, one teaspoon. And I'm going to chop up this one green onion and also this ground black pepper, just a little bit. Until the sugar is well melted, just stir this. Sesame seeds, just, yeah. My shrimp dipping sauce is done, and also I already made samjang, you know, soybean paste dipping sauce, and then I'm going to eat with all this lettuce, lettuce wrap, and later. So you will see. I'm going to check out again. We should keep cooking until really, really tender, until the meat is almost full of the bones. That's it. So one hour, medium high heat, one hour, medium heat, and then I may cook longer. Now, two hour past. Let's see, this is almost full of this bone. Really easily, I can cook this. So now, really perfect time. I like to turn up the heat to high heat and 10 more minutes I just boil so that it's going to be more a little shiny. I will just turn it over. Ladle some liquid over top like this. Meat will absorb all this seasoning. Okay, done. I'll just uh, transfer to my cutting board. Look at this, my pouch. <laughs> you did a good job. You did a good job. So all delicious stuff is came out from you. Okay, if this is so, so hot, I'll just wait until cool down. I just cool down for 10 minutes. Let's take the meat off the bones. I'm happy because um, successfully done. I love the color. 
I love their like stickiness. I love their just, it's not mushy. It's not soggy, you know, well cooked. You can, oh, hot. Yeah. Yeah, easily. And then now, well done. And this part, large chunk of meat. Yes. And here, the meat. It's like pulled pork. Here too, big chunk. Get there, okay. Here you go, it's a hammer time. <laughs> Bone hammer. Wow. So it just automatically is split. All this collagen. Wow, a lot of mouth. Wow, well cooked. Amazing, isn't it? <laughs> I made it. So this is really nice, well done. Let's discard these dinosaur bones. And then set them seeds. Just a little bit. Let's eat. This is sliced garlic and green chili pepper. This is shrimp paste sauce we made. And this is samjang. Whenever I do barbecue, Korean, you know, pork belly barbecue, or grilled, you know, galbi, I always I make this samjang. So, samjang. And my beer. So usually jokbal, when you make jokbal this way, and serve with this samjang, shrimp sauce, and garlic, sliced raw garlic, and also green chili pepper, and lettuce. And usually, this dish is for kind of alcohol serving. So Korean soju, makgeolli, or beer, you know, so whenever Korean people have some fun, nobody is eating alone at home. Are you going to make this alone and then you don't want to share with other people, you just eat alone? <laughs> but in Korea, always we share this with the people, having some beer, alcohol, and also children are drinking Coke or you know, pop soda and just water. <laughs> Sliced one, and green chili pepper, and this raw garlic. And just a tiny amount, seojat, shrimp paste dipping sauce. And wrap this and just eat. Mmm. Mmm, yummy. Really delicious. Trotter, the jokbal is very like a jelly. Jelly is kind of really, really soft and a little chewy. I love this texture. It's like a sticky. Kind of a, already my two lips are almost uh, stick to each other yeah, because of a lot of collagen 
and good vitamin B, and mineral, and from this, and also not greasy at all. Probably tomorrow morning, I will have a really better complexion. I just developed all this recipe. All you can do is following the recipe. Go to Chinatown and buy some large trotter. Skin should be really nice skin. And then have a party. What's the name of the party? Collagen party. How about that? All you guys eat this, have a party together, and next day call each other. How is your skin today? Is it getting better? Or more shiny, smooth? <laughs> you guys can talk to each other. Not gamey, not smelly at all. You guys should try this. Mm. Mm, perfect. Today, we made jokbal, braised pig strudel. Enjoy my recipe. See you next time. Bye.